Okay. Let's do this. Let's check. I've actually got some audio. Okay. Let's do this. Let's check. I've actually got audio. That's fine. Good. Uh, right. Just uh, send out a message so that everybody everybody knows. And um, relax. Right. Do 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 do. Okay. Let's see. Oh, my biscuit fell over. No, not my biscuit. Let's get rid of this. Excuse me, I'm going to, whilst I wait for a few people to show up, I'm just going to eat my biscuit. Mm. It's a little bit soft. It's very tasty though, even though it's a bit soft. It is a Fox's um, chocolate cookie thing. It's got a lot of chocolate in it. It's very good. Unfortunately, our cupboards tend to suffer a little bit from damp, so... So, and the packet got opened earlier this week, so to be fair, it's quite surprising that they've lasted this long, but it's a tiny little bit soft, which it shouldn't be. I don't want to eat into the mic though, because there's nothing worse than listening to somebody eat. Like genuinely nothing worse. Okay. It's Jalen here. And if he is... Is that how you, let me just double check, that, that is indeed how you pronounce your name. Yeah, sure. Don't, don't start. All right. Jalen, are you here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Cause it would be kind of pointless to start without you. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitch chat over there. Didn't work there. Right. Um. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to get started in a sec. gonna assume uh, right okay he's here okay fine good hello say hello in chat so that i know you're there and uh, that you're not doing this under duress or anything unless you don't have account an account in which case you might be might struggle right um okay i did write some notes for this uh so just so that I don't waffle on too much, although I've already managed to, I'm already failing in that regard. Um, let's just, uh, is the stream working okay for everyone? I was having some uh, connection issues before, so um, if it's fine now, then that's good. I don't know how long the delay is as well, so I don't know whether to be like, talk to me, and then everybody's uh, kind of just everybody saying yes but catching up, or literally nobody saying yes. Okay. Right. Good. If the stream's working fine, then um, then we'll get started. Okay. Hey, Jalen. So um, I thought we'd just watch it through a couple of times um, and then I'll go through each thing and uh, talk about um, what's, what's going on. Stop to cash a few times. Uh, okay. Well, hopefully it should, uh, hopefully it should record all of this stuff. Um, It should, it should be fine. Just let me know if anything gets lost or uh, or something is not clear. Um, okay, let's watch. Let's watch it one more time. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, for anybody, if that didn't play through properly, uh, um, I do have it. I've taken the liberty of putting it in sync sketch. So um, I think if I just give that, it should take us to where we need to go. Yeah. So um, I'll pop that in there so you can watch along as well if you wish. Um, and um, if you need to see it played back at the correct speed so um the biggest note that i wrote down um is too fast way too fast that was the thing that um uh that was the thing that spawned the whole conversation about doing this in the first place um like it looks cool and there's there's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff in there that you can that you can you can work with but just overall and i'm probably like forgive me because I will be saying it a lot it's way too fast now to be fair like uh, <laughs> to be fair that's um, that's better than than a lot of uh, especially like new animators will will animate things a lot too slow um, and so uh, it's quite nice to basically see somebody actually animating going the other way um, 
that's good because you can it's always easy to uh, add a couple of extra frames in here and there to uh, to make it a little bit um, a little bit nicer um, so uh, I mean more than anything like you've got got 80 frames before of the of the title screen before the um so i'll just talk generally over the over the whole thing and then we'll go through each bit um so you've got 80 frames uh, and then you immediately like kick into this uh, into the shot at frame was 83 um and then you know you go through and that shot finishes at one one four five now um, let me just put my calculator. Um, that is that is 62 frames. So assuming this is animated at 30 frames a second, that's just over two seconds. Um, it takes the human brain like two seconds to fully understand what's happening in a shot. So um, I must admit, the first the first time I I watched the reel, I I did kind of I got a slightly um, uh, I got a slightly uh, pacey, pacey heart. My my heart rate started pounding, um, and it made me feel a bit. It made me feel a bit anxious, to be quite <laughs> to be quite honest. Like because everything happens so fast and so quick, you don't get a chance. I think I probably held my breath for the first half up to up to this point, um, and uh, I, I I think I was. I think I might have just held my breath. Um, because I was like, ah, 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 I can't take it all in. Like it was, it's, it's, it's intense. It's, uh, it's very intense. Um, so you've got like 60 frames there. This one is like one, four, well, let's say one, four, five to two, oh, five. Like that's again, another two seconds. This one is another two seconds this one is sorry that's my doorbell um that one's another thanks three seconds like it's 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 super quick um like just like this there's so much going on um that i, I it it frazzled frazzled my brain a little bit so um overall it like there's some good stuff but we need to uh we need to really slow it down in fact let me go back to um i did this just as a quick little test um i uh i set the i set the playback speed to half and um uh it's um you, yeah you'd like you i mean the shot the shot lengths are probably about about half as long as they should be um i'm not saying that it should all happen at this speed but you know we can talk about the spacing and the timing but all of these shots need to be about double the length um so we can talk about uh we can talk about ways that you can uh, you can uh, mess with the timings and and speed things up a little bit um okay so let's start with the first shot um, so let's, where are we, uh, let's go in here and so yeah, if you have any, if anybody has any questions, um, just ask and I'll, I'll talk about them as, as I go. Um, so, um, like this, I, I I like this shot actually. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff here. Um, the biggest issues are it's too fast, um, and you need to uh, you need to work on some of the silhouettes. I think so. Um, like, you could put some time before this where she's stood still, even if it's for like a second or yeah like just a second where she's kind of just in a in a breathing hold like she doesn't need to do very much um the other issue is like the the camera doesn't help um 
you're, you, for starters, you're quite a long way at the back here. Now, obviously, she gets closer here. And but I feel like, I mean, she's got a lot of headspace here. Um, which, and, and she's got a lot, there's a lot of floor space here. So, like, you know, you could actually crop it in. Okay. You could actually, um, you could actually crop it in a lot closer. Like, you've got a lot of, you've got a lot of blank space here like and actually she's only using up this portion of the screen um which um there's yeah you could you could use that more effectively um the other thing is um let me just clear this picture this one um because of the angle that you've got like a lot of these poses like they the silhouettes become really problematic like that that is not um like this is a bit of an issue like that does not describe anything uh really like that um like it it just doesn't uh it's 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 super unclear so you want to either bring the camera around a little bit or make sure that you know some of the key moments like that's you know that's part of the chop so like the very first thing she does is this downward slice like you have got to make sure that the very first pose of that like hit is strong like either either by shifting the camera around or or fixing the pose up so that it is not quite so uh on top of itself um Uh, and that's um that's that's the thing that we can see at like at, at various points here like i mean this pose is kind of cool but like you're blocking her you're blocking her face with the sword like maybe see if you can get the sword kind of pointing down down this way instead and get her elbow up so that you know you've got you've got one elbow you've got one elbow coming you know the front elbow coming down like this and perhaps the other elbow coming up and then the sword coming this way so it's not crossing her face um there's no reason to yeah there's no reason to do that um and if that's your if that's kind of your golden pose going in before the before the hit then again you want to make sure that these are really clear like either pull this leg pull this leg up and have the other one up uh, the other one trailing back or um yeah no i think that's probably the that's probably the best way to best way to do that um like um This one is quite difficult to describe without, I think that one might need a camera change. At the very least, maybe that, that leg could come forward a little bit. Forgive my, forgive my poor, forgive my poor drawings. Um, it's just so that you're breaking, breaking that shape up a little bit. I, but I think, to be honest, I think addressing the camera first is probably the, the, the best thing to do there. Like this starting pose is cool. Um, the arms kind of come up at the same time um so you could maybe offset those a bit so that maybe her maybe her arm comes up first and then sorry let me shift over here maybe her arm her front arm comes up first and then the other one comes up uh, just a just t slightly offset because at the moment like they just both come up like together um and um Yeah, I think just delaying delaying one and and having the other one come in would be good. Um, again, here like the silhouette is a little bit unclear, so you either want to pull this hand up and um, pull this hand up a bit, and then have the elbow come down so that it's not crossing her 
again not crossing her face um, or, or do something do something else with it um, I think um, I think for this bit if you if you want this to flow into the spin if you want this to flow into the spin then this this is a bit too much of a downward slice because you the 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 arc of the arm is basically like coming down like that and it feels like it should impact you know and hit the floor at the bottom of there and then it suddenly does this um it suddenly does this little swish around where it kind of feels a bit weird like if it's if she's going to if she's going to lead it into this into this kind of s s sideways spin then have the have her do a diagonal chop that will come this way around and then it will flow straight into that it will flow much better into that spin and so you won't have this weird kind of timing issue where you get down to the bottom and it kind of feels a bit like two motions but all kind of in one um, yeah I think that might be better if it if it came if it came round a little bit and came round this way instead um, The um, yeah, do do stop me if if something doesn't make sense. Um, the spin. The spin is kind of cool. I think the um, I like the idea. I think uh, you you possibly. I think as you've come into this spin you kind of f forgotten about what the back is doing right you, you get you get to um you get to this point and then the back if you look at the if you look at the shape that the back is making here as she's spinning up and pushing through like the back doesn't really change until she gets up to until she gets up to here where it's starting to straighten out again and i feel like you she's if she's really pushing off if she's really pushing off with this leg then you know her bum is basically the big the big force that's uh that's 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 where like the, this this leg is where all the power is getting generated so it feels like the back should as as she's pushing the back needs to like basically compress and curl more as she's pushing up and through um, and similarly I don't know about this leg like I like the I like the push I like the push through here I think you could I think you could probably actually go and you could probably stretch that you could make this more extreme this stretch I think you could probably have it push probably even up as far as here maybe um, I wonder whether this leg I mean it kind of goes against some of the stuff I've been saying about the silhouette already but I wonder whether the leg should should be tighter and closer sorry this is running it's very cold um, I wonder whether that that should probably that might need to be a little bit in a little bit closer um, I think uh, I think this arm can trail this uh, sword arm can trail a little bit behind um, 
Right, this elbow should not be up here yet. It should be up here, here. But here, I kind of feel like that, that arm should still be kind of coming. I can't, I'm, my camera is backwards, so I can't, uh, that arm should still be coming, coming round to get up to, to get up to the, the chopping pose. Um, Like the stretch pose is good, like more of this, um, I mean, I think you could probably put a little bit more curve on it, it feels a little bit straight, uh, and you should want to try and avoid, try and avoid those straight lines, um, because I mean it is still a, it is still a knee, or it's still a leg with a knee, um, hopefully you can't hear my wife watching TV, but if, if you can then, uh, let me know and I'll go and shut the door. Um, again, the spine stays quite uh, still throughout this whole this whole section. Like once she gets up to here, the spine stays exactly the same, and then just starts to tilt here as you get into this pose. Um, make sure you this. Um, this leg feels just keep just keep a track of what this leg is doing because it goes from basically like all the way back here to here uh, and that is um, that's it's kind of too much especially because it looks quite similar on all these frames before like it's um, it's quite jarring um, Again, as I mentioned back at this uh, this bit back here, uh, where the, the the pose is a little bit unclear, like again this silhouette, like it, you've got no you've got no negative space in here. Um, to be honest, because because she's chopping and she's really compressing down in in through her like into to the side of her hips. Um, think you might and I can't uh... yeah I think so you want to get the scent I think here maybe you want to get the sense that oh shit sorry uh, here you want to get the sense that it's it's gonna come in and and like stomp um, I mean it's not a good drawing but I don't know. It, like it's difficult because her whole body is kind of rotated back the other way as well. Um, so you might need to make some adjustments to that. I think rather than like you've got her very, you've got her very rotated. Like her hips look super broken compared to she's you know she's rotated at almost nine, like ninety to ninety degrees. Oh god, my back cracked there. Uh, um, think maybe you want to focus on rather than rather than just just putting a rotation in rather than just putting a rotation in here um, instead uh, try and focus on getting some um, some uh, contrasting angles instead so whether you'll be able to you could have that be fairly straight and then you know, she could be she could be chopping down this way and then you've you know and have her spine be bent bent backwards um rather than just rotating around around the point like you could you know you could make this might even be possible to get you know to get the sword coming in 
like this way and then you've got a, a pose where basically her back and arms and sword and leg all follow this like nice kind of line of action all the way through the all the way through the pose um and that could be uh that could be that could be pretty cool actually um like like it's it's good like there's there's tons of there's like there's tons of stuff here that to work with um like i like these i like these poses coming up here um just kind of the poses that you get to in between that need a bit of tweaking um like uh like this pose is kind of cool again like you can try and try and get you know the sense of the arm and the sword kind of all coming around as as one chopping in could be could be great uh this feels like it hits a little bit of a wall when it gets down here like it doesn't follow through quite quite right and and this goes back to um this goes back to uh the stuff I was saying before about about being too fast like you know she's just done this huge She's just done this huge like slash and jump and slash like you know make this pose make this pose good and hold it let let people understand what she's just done and have time to process what that is and then and have a pose at the end that identifies exactly what it is that she's done and you know how she's how she's gone about it um Give the you know give the give the viewer time to enjoy what it is that you're doing. Um, but yeah, otherwise I think it's good. I think I mean check the um, you've got a little bit of camera you've got a little bit of camera movement on there, so it's slightly difficult to um, slightly difficult to to keep track of, but like much more much more hang time in this jump like this it's over so quickly but like she she you know if she, if she strikes a really cool pose like this like have her have her be up there for a long time like push way way more than you than you think is reasonable and see how it looks and see how it feels um like just just more frames in um yeah absolutely like don't don't ever have her be dead like definitely you know like you know she's just done the big move like if you if you're thinking about what you know what's in her uh that's a brain if you're thinking about what's in her brain like she might be like you know does all this stuff and like bang and then you know she can be taking a moment like definitely yeah definitely um you know she she could hold that pose for for a moment or two and then and then kind of relax while she's while she's down on one knee and then stand up like you know just give it a give it breathing room okay i've actually talked about this for way longer than uh and I meant to um so I'm gonna move on uh unless you have any immediate questions um but like yeah as I said there's like lots of there's lots of cool stuff here um but like just hold those poses give it a lot more give it a lot more time um like here you can again like like hold that for a few frames like like you know there's another little arc here where she where she does her little strike you can just hang time doesn't always have to be um hang time doesn't always have to be uh you know time off the floor like think about the hips as as the as a bouncing ball and like 
anytime anytime you're any even if even on a basic walk or a run like that bouncing ball is doing that the the bount the imaginary bouncing ball on her hips is doing you know is doing arcs and and the all the spacing stuff so like put put hang time in there like let everybody see everybody see what it is that you want them to see yeah there's there's a bunch of really cool stuff in that um this knee feels a little bit out here that's not a big deal it's uh, usually done yeah the last thing i'd say is have this arm come round this arm come round a little bit wider so like have it actually kind of come round into that into that final pose that she's coming into like at the moment it kind of feels like it doesn't really know doesn't really know what it's doing like it kind of just sort of swings around because it has to but you know give it a bit of give it a bit more uh, life because it kind of gets to here and then and then it kind of goes like oh yeah let me just protect myself again Um, okay, we'll go on to the next one because yeah, otherwise I'm going to be here all evening and I've I've got dinner plans. So uh, right, mm, doo -doo -doo. okay. So again, as we've discussed, really fast, but um, the biggest uh, I think the biggest issue with this one, um, like again, I like the idea, it's cool there's there's um uh offsetting um do you mean like um like overlapping action type type deal gonna just keep talking whilst I whilst I do this stuff um okay so this one is cool like I like the I, I like the ideas um again like the action starts straight away as soon as the camera cuts so you you don't have a chance to a chance to um understand what this what the scene is before it kicks off um overlapping uh I tend to be honest i'll block it all in based off off some reference um and then normally i'll before i do i don't i don't try to worry about it too much until i've really got the the hips and the cog or the cog whatever you want to call it like until that until that that core bit of motion is done and like really you know it feels good i don't um I don't tend to uh I don't tend to I don't tend to look at the overlap too much. Um I don't know if I have any specific I don't know if I have any specific um process for that. I'll try and think about it as I'm blocking through. Um but I don't I don't typically like, you know, take because I like to keep all my keys when I when I key stuff I key everything. Um I don't like to like grab individual controls and then shift them off by a frame and then another one off by a frame. Normally I don't do that. Um sometimes when I get down to fingers maybe if I wanna if I wanna do something specific then I will. Um but I try to um mostly I try to think about it whilst I'm actually blocking it in and thinking like, okay, well we'd you know we're we're doing a jump down or a fall down or something so how is how is that can actually look over time and if you you know if you if you're thinking about it and keeping an keeping an eye on it whilst you're um 
particularly in your curves whilst you're going through your blocking um most of the time most of the time it'll 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 show through um i i don't think i have anything particularly specific about about that um, not right now anyway if i think of something i'll let you know um so anyway quickly on to this one uh so the the biggest issues here are like the the posing is 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 not as strong as it should be like again here he you know he throws the he throws the shield here and the, you I mean you've got a few like and this will be something that I talk about, but like you've got a few like weird bits where the the shield kind of is doing all sorts of like weird weird things where it it shouldn't like it feels like it doesn't travel in a in a particularly straight path. Um, but like when he's thrown it, like you you lose this whole arm, like for the whole piece, this arm is is problematic because you like here his arm is coming up and like that should be straight like you can't you can't get any strength out of throwing something with 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 an with a bent elbow like it doesn't do like if you if when you do a throw like the the point where you let go is where your arm is straight because that's that's what generates the you know that's that's what generates the 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 motion or the the energy so i think is it moments moments of inertia probably some science thing um but um like he should be releasing that here on this frame instead and and on this frame, this arm should be really straight, well, straight, and feel strong. And, you know, he should be releasing like this, and this shield should be releasing from here. Um, and rather than... Because you wanted him to catch it in this hand. I mean, to be fair... He's got incredible grip strength because, I mean, for a start, as this this pose, you need to need sorting out because you get the the foreshortening is makes him look like he's just got a really small little arm, which is really weird. Um, but like he has got uh, again the the shield the shield motion coming up, like you need to track that because that is basically going like here here, donk. I don't know how it's getting down there. Like you need to. Those are like some some detail things that you need to that you need to work on, but um, you're losing this whole arm for basically the whole animation. And what I would suggest, and like incredible grip strength to go from holding your arm out to the to the side, and then like being able to grab grab the shield as it comes past. Um, and then a bit of overlap after, like I mean. Oh, he's he's got powerful powerful fingers um what i would suggest instead is because actually what's nice about this is when he does catch it even though this pose is a little bit crazy um the that sense there that he's caught it and it's kind of and you get that sense that as he's as he's caught it it does you know pull his arm backwards and then it does cause his spine to go this way that that you, that you then turn into into the charge up for the next throw like that's cool um but what i would suggest is that actually you find a strong pose if you find a strong pose here and actually so he'll i don't know whether i've got space to do this in my room so you know he'll he'll throw it and he'll 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 get to there and then he should just wait just hold that pose like find find a nice strong pose make the legs feel stronger than they are here so like he's in a you know like get 
get this leg here, like, plant his feet. Like, he, he feels, he feels weak throughout because nothing, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's nothing, there's nothing straight about this. Like, have him, have him, have him, have him wind up and throw it and have that, have that back arm come out, like, and, and have him hit this, have him hit a really, like, you can do such a cool pose here. Um, like, I mean, not based on my drawings, obviously, but, um, you know, you could have him strike a really awesome pose and, and he's, he's throwing it out and just wait, just hold, like basically do a, do a holding pose for that whole thing. Like, there's no reason to do any of this leg switching yet or, or anything like just have him hold, have him hold that pose. Don't know if you can. Can you copy and paste on this? I'd really like to uh, hold drawings. Uh, I don't understand how this works. That's my uh, top of ghosting tracing paper. Hold. I don't know how this works. Okay, right, yeah. But like, have him, have him hold it that whole time, and then catch it in that same in that same pose so you get to here and like he's still you know he's still in that strong pose that you left him in and and have him have him have him catch it again and then and then as he catches it he takes the you know he takes the energy of it as it comes in and then you can do then you can do all this turning stuff like, cause, cause that, that feels pretty cool that he gets, like he catches it and it pull. it's actually, you feel the force. Like that's one of the great things about the shot is you feel the force of him catching it and it pulling him this way whilst he's storing up the energy to swing it back the other way. Like that's great. But just, yeah, just hold, hold that. Like make that an awesome, like strong Captain America pose. And like, and then just have him catch it again with the same hand, and then you'll get so much more from the impact. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely hold that. Like that. I mean, if you can make that pose where he like lets go, freaking awesome. Then, then you you don't need to do anything else. You just like, and then, and you get the catch and the flick back as, as, as all that energy from the shield comes back into his arm and travels down his body. Like, it'd be so cool. Um, and then you can start doing stuff here. Now, this pose is a little bit, this pose is a little bit, um, all right, okay, as you hold, okay, I see how hold pose work, right? Um, right, now this, Again, this pose is kind of a little bit weird. Like you need to really look at your silhouettes. Like his back feels weird and kind of slightly broken, and his head doesn't really feel like it's doing very much. But you could get a lot of. Um, if I move again back over to my camera, I'll probably end up head biting the wall. But uh, you can get a lot of like overlapping action on that head as he as he catches it, and then he and then he like springs back into. Um, Brings back into action. Uh, what time are we at? Okay. Um, and again, like another opportunity to do a really cool, like, transition into into a pose. Like you've got some kind of quite weird, like, like, like that is odd. Like, make sure you pay attention to those details, because, like, that does feel weird. And you've got, like, a stretch frame here, which is cool. Like, I don't know why you don't have one in, in this one. Um, if you want this to feel a little bit stronger, maybe take this frame out. So it hits a little bit. It'll feel like it hits a little bit harder. Because at the moment, it feels a little bit soft.
like that's I mean yeah like there are, there are a few like things that you can do to kind of strengthen these poses but like again like you know you lose this you lose this arm almost straight away after he's thrown it like be proud be proud of that arm I mean it feels a little bit off balance here but There's definitely, there's definitely things that you can do here to kind of make that feel good. But yeah, but I mean, this will be a thing that I talk about quite a lot. Is like hold your, hold your, hold your poses. Don't like, don't be afraid of them. Um, but yeah, like there's, there's cool stuff here. Again, like this, this is almost like this. Arguably, is a, is a, is a stronger pose than than the one that you have at the start of the animation. Like that is closer to, to. To this one than than the one you've got at the moment. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll I'll move on because I really am actually going very slowly. Uh, so I may not get to all of this, but well, I'll just do what I do what I can. Uh, so as as discussed previously. Um, like now this this shot is great, but you basically need to slow this down by maybe half. Um, like I actually I quite like this shot, but again you're shying away from poses. I was watching this back earlier on um, in Keyframe MP, and actually because you only because you only hit this pose for one frame, like this is the this is the key moment in this animation. Like this is the this is this is the moment like this is the big strike like and you 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 hold it for i mean you're losing some of the some of the detail here like you probably pull her head away from from her um shoulders a little bit here but you hold that for one frame i mean you need to you need to be holding that for at least at least two so that you can see what sometimes if like if you if you don't get the if you don't if you if you get a little stutter in playback you actually miss that frame and you just get you just get you go from here to here and it feels super weak like it feels like she has done nothing with that leg like she just lifted her leg in the air for like no reason um Like there's a lot of cool stuff here. I mean, just one 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 thing I'd say, which I think will applies to most of most of the stuff that we've seen so far, is like track. Put put a motion tracker on those hips, and see what's actually happening. Because like here, this can look a, a little bit bad, but. Sorry, I missed it there. Like, if you if you look at that, if you look at that action, like that hits like a little, it hits like a right angle. And like, it's nice to have some anticipation because you know that she's going to do something, but it. It feels like it needs to go like when she goes down like it needs a it needs to go like that way and then up or something like it can't it can't just do that i mean it it can but it should not um like in all of these things make sure make sure that you actually before you worry about anything else track those Track those hips. Track the spacing. Like um, I know Maya's motion motion trail is not great, but um, I'd like to put it on um. Because if you go into the attribute editor when you select it, rather than have past and present, you can have it alternating frames, so it changes color every frame, so you can see where it's actually going. Um, I find the default setting a bit useless, to be honest. 
but um, and also turn on the frame crosses if that helps um, so that you can see where where it is along every point of that line um, and, and you're seeing what the eye is going to you know what the eye is going to see if uh, whatever frame the eye happens to to look at it because um, you've got a few yeah like you've got a few um kind of weird weird bits where where we've got slightly odd slightly odd spacing um like, like there's a lot of kind of like jumping which is it's kind of okay but yeah before more than anything get get those hips tracked because this actually feels very linear like there should be a lot more up and down through here as, as she's doing the little hop like as that leg takes the weight like you can you can have her come down a lot lower as she as she hits there and then up into and then and then you've then you've got so much more contrast to work with when she gets down to this low point like down here, like when she gets down to this bit, like you've got so much more contrast when you really strike up to there, like it, oops, um, it gives you a lot more. You know, you should always be, always be looking for places to create contrast where the that will draw the, draw the eye. Um, like you could have you could have the spacing like really um yeah yeah um you could have the you could have the the spacing be really extreme there like she could she could be really high you know she could be almost almost on tiptoes maybe you could even probably put a bit of toe roll in there and stretch and maybe even stretch this leg and she could get this really like nice motion going from like way down here somewhere i'm going to delete that frame because that looks weird um yeah and finish the punch the back lift the, yeah yeah definitely like again it and it it's like what luke's saying there like it ties into um it ties into uh into holding your poses like anything that's a strike see if it works better to hold it for more for at least one other frame um i did write something down about her screen left hand um yeah here because of the spacing like it this hand feels like it's stuck in space like it's pivot like look, it doesn't it doesn't move off this point like her hand is um you've got it moving in exactly the same spacing like it's it's counter the distance is countering exactly as as much as her hand as her head is moving in space so it just feels like it's pivot like it's it's locked in position and it's pivoting as she as she gets closer it's just doing that and it's really like there's an invisible there's a uh, there's a weird thing there um shoulder rotation for the jab yeah yeah and like again like she's not punching she's not actually punching anyone here so this arm should not be bent like maintain the strength you've got in there like that pose, I mean, as we say, you can put more rotation into the shoulder, but that pose feels pretty good. So, like, keep it. Yeah. Uh, the only other thing that I wanted to say about this one because this like this is generally a good shot like it needs more time it needs more much of quite a few more frames to just kind of breathe um as as we've as we've mentioned a few times and uh, like this feels like this feels okay like i think you probably get a little bit more like drag on the spine as she comes up through here 
and again you create if you do it right you can create some nice um you, know, you can create some nice contrast in the in the spine um as she goes from this way okay and being angled this way into the shape kind of reversing and going the other way yeah a few tweaks and like this thing's great um i would i would say here this foot comes off too early uh, it makes it lose feel like she's not like it it doesn't feel like she's pushing off here like you need to keep this foot locked down and 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 as she as she comes back into this position here like as she's coming back like you need to have had these hips come down and push off as that as that leg straightens so that it feels like she's pushing off that front leg and back into position she's like springing back off it because at the moment she's super off weight here and it feels like she hasn't she hasn't generated enough force with this leg um she hasn't generated enough force in this leg to give her the motion to push her over this way that that she's suddenly spinning and and flicking back and again a few more frames at the end of just this idle like just breathing like a, just half a second a second just gives you a bit more time to process exactly what's happened Jeez, right. Uh, um, okay, Jill. Now this one, I, I think this is possibly the most confusing of all the shots, uh, and it's largely down to the camera. Um, it's, yeah, let's just come on. All right. Uh, like I had to watch this a lot of times to fully understand what's going on. Um, the camera is not helping you here at all. Um, and also, like it's let's let's just watch it. It's too fast. Uh, the camera is too fast. Um, the, it's a it's almost a cinematography issue more than anything. Is I do not understand. Like, you know, she's jumping off. She's jumping off this way. And then suddenly she's landing. We have no real context for, especially because the background is completely, completely plain as well. We have no real context for where she's landed, where the other guy is in relation to what she's doing. Um, I mean, I get the impression that she's, you know, she's kind of pretty slick and good at, at dodging. And then she's kind of being a bit cute about the fact that that he's missed her multiple times. But man, it like it all happens. It all happens so quick. It's 66 to it's the frame. So you're like talking for so that's a second and a second and a half or something maybe. Um, and uh, it's kind of crazy. There are also like quite a few, it's quite a few issue full details. Much like um in that first shot, this guy comes down and swings round and and seems like he's going to hit here, and then one frame, and one one inch. From the uh, from yeah from the bottom, he suddenly changes direction and ends up over here. And I don't either. That's hit. In which case, show that that's hitting, and have it have it react and bounce, and then swipe across. Or if he's doing like in the in the first one, like if his if his actual action is to swing this way, I'm not sure why it would be because he's swinging away from his target. Then then do that. But again, like if he's hitting here, give it some frames. Let it, let it, let us see that that is what happened. Because if if this is, because then you can turn this into the anticipation, the anticipation shot for or the anticipate the anticipation pose for the for the for the next swing where it comes across this way, like well, that's fine. So have him go like bang, and then and then he takes a moment to get over here to swing it across this way. That's that's perfectly fine. Now you have also got a few like I to be honest, I, I'd be tempted to take this shot out because it's it's really confusing and there are actually quite a few big 
big issues. Like her arm just completely disappears inside her body here. Um, and I just noticed another one uh, as he stands, as he stands up, like his leg is just inside his other leg there. Um, there's there's issues with the way that she gets under this. Like I don't believe for a moment, like because based on the perspective, she's actually the other side of this pole now. Like that, those those are those those two things are like if you if you drew it from the side and that was the pole and you were looking down it this way, like her head is already back above it, whereas the frame before she's way above it, and then in one frame she's managed to get her head from up here somewhere under the pole and back out the other side like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't make sense um visually it's this i think this is probably it's probably my the least kind of successful shot on the reel like she doesn't she's not really doing anything like her arms like her arms are basically dead the, the whole time through like they're literally just here the whole time apart from when they're inside her um like she's just not doing anything it's not until it's not until here where she's doing a little bit of posing like I don't know how she's generating this energy here. Like she needs to be way lower if she's going to spring off at that at that angle. Um, again, the framing is kind of weird. Like she's half off the screen. Um, like this guy, comparatively, is is okay. But like this this pose could be kind of cool. You get a bit more contrast in um, a little bit more contrast in his. Uh, his shapes yeah i i i would i would i i unless unless you're doing gonna do a lot of work to this i would uh i'd uh, i'd get rid um and like here i mean this bit's okay like you get a nice sense of the arms coming down they they kind of hit that pose a little bit too easy like they just kind of come down and go doink, doink. but and you need to be aware of the twinning like those arms do exactly the same thing all the way down like you've just grabbed this control and this control and just rotated um and it feels yeah it's avoid avoid anything where all the timing is exactly the same unless you unless you want them to look like uh controlling controlling airplanes at an airport uh, yeah i mean i i'm not going to spend i'm not going to spend too much more time on that one cuz uh, I, I i don't think it i don't think it quite works i'm afraid uh similarly this one like cuz i really do have to go fast now sonic style like i really like this idol that you've got here like a good sense of weight um, like a nice bounce. It would be nice if we could see a little bit more of it before all the action happens. Uh, again, this this punch feels feels weak because she's already she's already at full extension here, which doesn't quite make sense. Like again, contrast. So like delay this delay this arm like don't have it keep it keep it down or draw it or draw it back or 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 something but like it just feels like she's just kind of like and it like it it it, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel strong um and like the like the contact pose here is pretty good like that feels painful i don't quite know why as she's gone for this weak punch she's kind of just gone like let me just put my face near your knee um based on the spacing like it actually feels like this leg is on her face right now but then suddenly 
this face, this knee is on her face right now, so I don't. That again, it goes back to the stuff I was saying about strong posing and silhouetting. Like these legs are okay. This feels a bit muddled here, and this arm gets lost. Again, similar to the previous one. She's not generating any, she's not generating, like she has no anticipation here as she, um, like basically she just does this little pelvic thrust. But she goes from, like it never goes, it never dips down to go, to spring up into the knee. Um, she basically like, she generates power from somewhere and is basically, it feels like she's getting pulled by her crotch off the ground and then she knees, knees her in the face. Um, like you need to get some anticipation in there, like she needs to drop her hips and, and store up energy in, this, in these quads and then push forward and drive through. Because like this, this pose is, is kind of okay. Like I think, um, you know, you could do something more interesting with the arms. I think this arm could, you know, come, I come back here somewhere like so it's it's away from let me just draw that again not shit uh, like you know you could you could do something more interesting with it do something with the arms really you know stretch that stretch that leg and make it feel make it feel stronger you know and then and and, and again like have that knee follow have that knee follow her face like you know there's there's a lot you can do here to make this pose really strong i definitely get more more arch in her spine like this isn't this is supposed to be a this is supposed to be an unleashing of stored energy like so you need to you need to get the sense that that energy is getting stored up here where she dips down and springs up and then the unleashing of energy needs to hit here and like really like you can have such a great line of action through through this bit that really feels like it's delivering all of the impact right here. Like, I mean, her head can be back a little bit. Like, it could be, that could be super strong. Super strong. Um, but like, you just need to push everything a little bit further. The rest of this shot, I'm guessing you've taken this from reference or something. Like, the rest of this shot, kind of doesn't work for me like it again like it's just it's you know it's just kind of a collection of legs and, and backs like i can't I, I can't see what's happening here i don't know i don't know why everybody's kind of collapsed like i mean here there's just some frames that aren't animated like this leg basically stops and this leg keeps going and her hips stop and her back is going like that feels unfinished because I think if instead like if you wanted to do if you wanted to do something else I'd or like I mean it's quite a big change obviously so feel free to not do it but like have a little bit more of the a little bit more of the sparring here because she feels good she uh, she feels good um, this one feels a little bit dead at the start but like have a little bit more sparring strengthen that punch up and like if if she's not contacting and she's dodging it that's fine but then turn that dodge into her crouching down seeing a window of opportunity to kind of coil up here and then strike forward and near in the face and have her fly off Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Like if, you know, if you, if you wanted to like have her, have her near in the face and have her get flung like miles and, and, you know, have her, have her head back here and, and her body and, you know, and have her arms kind of be like up here and she's, you know, I mean, that's a horrendous drawing, but you know, like that could be, that could be pretty cool. Like, like, cause this, feels like a yeah I'm not sure about that like it feels it kind of feels like everybody just kind of gave up and then ran out of batteries so 
sorry, that's a little bit rude. I'm, I don't mean that. Um, but it just, yeah, it it gets. It's, it's not as strong as it could be, but like you could do some. You could do some cool stuff with that. Right. Okay, let's just double check what we've got. Uh, okay. Um, I will go back through the others. This shot is too short. Uh. Sorry, let me just. Uh, too short. Like either do more or cut it. Uh, it doesn't feel like this foot should plant sort of here somewhere. It's it's too far over there. Um, but it's like the sh the shot is too quick. Uh, so. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't last long enough to read. Um, this shot on the whole is good. Um, I know um, it's Jonathan. Uh, what's his name? Uh, has been doing the the Street Fighter animations. Generally, it's pretty good. There wasn't anything that particularly stood out. Um, there wasn't anything particularly that stood out as being problematic. So I'm just going to leave that one. That's fine. Uh, the walk is pretty good as well. Animate the hands. Um, I'd turn off the grid as well. Um, if you're if you're going to have a walking on the spot, just put a just put a floor plane in. Putting putting it on the grid makes it seem just like her foot feet are slipping. Uh, put her on a plane or have her move off the move off the uh, off the origin. Um, generally, everything was okay in this. Um, the only thing I'd say was track the track the toe. Let me just hold frames for this. Um, It kind of uh, it kind of goes in, hits a point, kind of weirdly moves forward and goes down a little bit, and then goes up again, like just a few little things to track there. But otherwise, the walk looks pretty good. I'd like to see it from uh, from a still camera because you can hide a lot of uh, can hide a lot of sneakiness in the uh, can hide a lot of stuff in a rotating camera. But but generally, that looks good. Um, so the only thing that I have to talk about now is this one. So this one, um, uh, the camera does too much here. Same with your your other shot. The camera is doing way too much, um, and the environment is not helping. Uh, so I don't know when I when I first start looking at the shot. Um, this reads as one flat plane and then suddenly when we get up here it's not and I don't know why it's confusing um, the camera rotation over the top there is over the over the top um, Yeah, the camera is is uh, is a is a is a big issue here, because um, like I know what you're going for, but like it's just not smooth as you come over the top here. Like you get up to a certain point, like and the camera feels like it's going to follow. But actually, you get up to a certain point, then the camera turns, and actually moves up, and then goes down, which could work but like it's 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 not polished enough to to work there um like this uh starting poses are okay um let me just go to the end of this one you do actually let the camera you do actually let the thing breathe for a little bit at the end which is nice you need to actually have him breathe at the end but um because he is 
That's really bad. Uh, he is currently dead here. Um, like you've just got, you've just got a held frame, which is fine. Like, but it would be nice if he was kind of breathing, and maybe this guy kind of collapsed down afterwards. Um, like slowly, like slumps over. That could be cool. Um, so like this is okay. Again, this this foot could be could be planted and break up this silhouette. Like you could actually have his knee come out. I mean, it's difficult to draw in that perspective, but you know, you could have his feet come out. No reason to have his hand intersecting his leg here. Keep that separate. Have it up here somewhere. Um, perhaps try and avoid the foreshortening a little bit on that arm. Because having it, having this bit, it just makes this bit look really short and weak. Um, this is okay. Again, like you only hold this pose for one, one frame. Like again, you know, have that have that be as have. I mean, you can't get his arm all the way over there, but like, you know, get get this arm get this arm back here. Like he's you know he's really gearing up to go. Have you know get some get some twist in the get some twist in the hips. Have his knee come out further, like he's again storing energy up in this thigh. Um, you know, really push back, and then you then you create contrast for when he shoots forward. Um, like this doesn't feel low enough, so like I think here through here, he should be much lower down and driving like more more extreme. Um, stretch this leg out. Yeah, like this, track those hips again. Track it. Track the hips in all your shots, because like it feels super, f super flat through through all of this section. Until he gets to here and then suddenly he drops down and that's partly a camera but and like that's you know that's that's better but um again create those uh create those uh contrast moments it's too much rotation here that's 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 possibly too much Uh, unless, well, it's not too much if you maintain it through this moment here, and then use again use that to drive up, and 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 as he comes up, then you then you uh, you change it so that you know you really create contrast going this way to what you had here, and like if you can create that contrast, so you know spine essentially going from one way to the other then then it'll feel strong and powerful but you've got these kind of muddy frames in the middle where nothing's there's not really a lot of change happening and it kind of feels a bit a bit dead um twinning again keep that in mind you know he's just been running so his arms are going to come up at different times and try and work out which you know try and work out which arm is going to come up when like because he's because he's pushing through like I mean in theory I guess it ought to be yeah it's a difficult one I mean it it could well be that actually you want to go this way and have this arm come up earlier than this one um then you need to double check We'll check here. Um, these legs feel like they don't really do anything until they like this. 
this leg feels like because it's it's driving through here as part of the as part of the jump but then it doesn't actually start coming up to meet the wall until until here it should already be up here Oh Christ, I really do actually have to go. Uh right, this stuff's all good. Like I like that through there. That's that's good. Could do something more with the arms here. Just again, like you've got a lot of foreshortening, so keep them try try to keep them not down down camera. Um talked about the camera. Uh like this stuff's fine. It feels like he suddenly accelerates, which which feels a little bit weird. Like it feels unnatural because he's kind of like floating, which is fine, but it doesn't feel like the it's too jarring that speed up. So it doesn't feel like it's it doesn't feel like it's like hang time and sort of semi slow mo. It just feels like suddenly he just goes. Um, Uh, as he's coming down, like he keep, he keeps rotating here, and then he's still rotated here, but his head is going this way, and then he's even more rotated this way, and then he's straight as an arrow. Like that does not make sense, um, especially not over over three frames. Like he's just going. Bah, 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 bah. Um, you really want to. You really want to like look at look at look at that. Um, similarly, this leg. Check all of your frames. This leg suddenly pings out for no reason. Not sure why. Uh, coming through here. Try and keep. Try and keep a like a. A curved shape here. Let's let's feel those legs, because like you've got a nice you've got a nice start here, where you can, you know, if you get that right, you can get this really nice sense that um, yeah. Well, that's the thing. You have to go through and check all your stuff. Um, like you could, you could get some really nice like curve into into this pose uh, again like I'd probably keep his legs tight through here don't like I wouldn't have them extend out here like this impact is quite nice because you've got a lot of apart from this that should be straight. Um, right, that contact is good, but I think I think you should go from here to maybe possibly even straight to here. Like you could do something really, really impactful where you you lose this lose this frame entirely, and he could just be on his head. From here like you could go from there to contact to I don't know whether you should stop or whether you should just keep driving driving through like I wonder whether you should get rid of those this frame and this frame it's something to experiment with it might it might work it might not I'm not really sure um, but like this is great like again like get you've got a weird like s curve through here no need just have either keep it straight or like have the curve go through you know go through that way again comes down hold that for a few a frame or two more that anticipation 
and again. Yeah, uh, and then um, have him have him wait a little bit, and and you want to feel that push again. You've got some little hopping on the leg. Again, track your arcs like that. That motion on the leg, it kind of zigzags back and forth as it's coming back through there. That that down is nice, but you've like that feels really good. Like you've that feels great below this point, the upper half of the body, like the pose is okay. Like that's kind of cool, but they feel they feel kind of detached. Like that upper body kind of stops doing anything for a little while, and then the feet come down, which is kind of cool. But you need to you need to put a bit of overlap on those arms or something. Because like at the moment they're just kind of dead. But like if it if as he did he came down here. As you came down here, your arms were, you know, had, you know, uh, they had a bit more like, and obviously avoid the twinning, but if, if they had a bit more like uh, overlap as they came down and then settled into the position, then that could be pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, generally, like the I know I've I've done a sh shit ton of drawing on on these, but like generally, you're you're in the right you're in the right ballpark. You just need to try and really think about your silhouettes. So like I'm, I've got to go, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sum up very quickly. Um, as we've said multiple times, too fast. Slow it down. Let your animations breathe a little bit. Like if you sh show it to other people, and if if they can't follow what's going on, then, you know, try slowing it down, try and try and pick some good spots to add a few more frames in, um, make sure you, uh, you know, really hang, t like hang time and spacing, are, like if you can get them right, it, it buys you so much goodwill because it, it just works so much better, it reads so much clearer. Um, so, you know, if you can, you can find spaces to to get that extra time in do it um, make sure that your camera your 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 posing or your silhouettes work for the camera that you've chosen or move the camera cut that shot out um, and um, yeah just more breathing um, and try to make sure that um, Try to make sure that your poses kind of uh, stay alive, or do your animations stay alive. So there's a few little points in in throughout where where bits of the body kind of just stop and you kind of forget about them. Um, just try and make sure that you're thinking about everything and how it's all being how it's all reacting to the to the forces and the motion that's happening after you've absolutely nailed the hips. Because because that is typically where all of the all of the weight and the energy comes from. Make sure those hips are absolutely rock solid before you start worrying about overlapping on arms and legs and hair and accessories and stuff. Like don't don't even worry about any of that until the spacing and the and the timing on the hips is perfect. Like once you, like if you go through this track that track those hips and give it the breathing space that it needs and then and then around once you've got that strengthen up those poses so that they work nicely for the camera that you've chosen that should that is going to be a great shot and uh, and the same thing applies to all of all of the all of the things on your reel every every everything has has just those few little things that you need to you need to think about and uh, and you'll be golden Okay, 
so uh, I hope that was um, useful. I'm super late for dinner, so I'm going to stop right there. Um, if you've got any questions, I, you should be able to you should be able to view this. Um, I've said it to I've said it to um, uh, I've said it to view only, so that all my notes are there and nobody else can can kind of draw over it. Um, and uh, obviously, I'll I'll upload this video. This video will be able, you'll be able to watch on Twitch, um, but I'll uh, I'll stick it up on uh, on YouTube as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was uh, hopefully that was useful. Uh, hopefully I wasn't too uh, wasn't too overly harsh. Um, this is my first time doing it live, uh, and um, oh, you're very welcome. As long as uh, as long as you as long as you found that useful then uh, then then that's great cool okay well i really must dash because i'm being a terrible terrible guest but thank you thank you for watching um if you've got any questions or uh, feedback on how all that went let me know and uh i'll see you next time yeah.